He's my savior. When the storms are raging, He's my shelter. Where He leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus. He loves me. He loves me. Come on, let's let go on the neighbor.
tell you, that's where the power is in the name of Jesus. See, David said, in my distress, I call upon the Lord. And I cried to my God, and he heard my cry out of his temple. See, I tell you, when you call on that name, praise God, you get some result there. Praise God, because there ain't no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved other than the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. See, I tell you, praise God, under this covenant, we don't have to call on Jesus. I praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Praise God. Bless your name, Jesus. Amen. We thank you. Praise God. We for the Son. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. See, one thing he'd say, except you eat his flesh and drink his blood, you don't have no life. Well, the life is in Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, praise God. Hallelujah. When you look, Praise God. Thank you, Lord. The people back there under the old covenant, they didn't have the name of Jesus. But praise God, they realized that there was a real devil out there that got them in trouble with God. Huh? Well, let's see here. Go over there to Numbers, the 21st chapter. Praise God. See, he had said, if there are any sick among you, let them call for the elder of the church. Let them pray the prayer of faith. The prayer of faith shall make them whole. Amen. Huh? Well, let's see what caused these to get in trouble back there. Amen. And what they, who they had to call. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Number 21 and 5. I agree, right, brother. And the people spake against God. Say the people spake against God. And against Moses. And against Moses. Wherefore have you brought us out of Egypt? Wherefore have you brought us out of Egypt? To die in the wilderness. To die in the wilderness? But there's no bread. Huh? They forgot that they God is a provider, huh? Huh? When you realize who he is, ain't no way. Huh? Praise God. Hallelujah. See, that woman at the meal bar, when she went there, praise God. Hallelujah. She had a hand full of meal. Huh? And a little oil. But praise God. But when she got there, and the prophet said, I want you to bake me a cake of bread. She baked it first, didn't she? Gave it to him. He ate. And he told us that oil ain't going to fail, needed the meal. Huh? She used it all, but as soon as it got to the point, play where she was out, she went back there for meal, and meal was there, wasn't it? But here she didn't speak against God, God ain't got but a handful of meal. She trusted in him, didn't he? Huh? Come on, brother. Neither is there any water. So neither is there any water. And I was sold in loathed in this light bread. And I and I was sold loathed this, this light bread. And the Lord sent fiery serpents. So and the Lord sent what? Fiery serpents. Fiery serpents. Among the people. Huh, among the people. And they bit the people. And bit the people. And most people of Israel died. And much people of Israel died because of them snakes, huh? How them snakes went there and they bit those people. And they died. Come on. Therefore the people came to Moses. Therefore the people came to Moses. And said. And said. We have sinned. We have sinned it. For we have spoken against the Lord. But we've spoken against the Lord. And against thee. And against thee. Pray unto the Lord. Pray unto the Lord. He take away the serpent from us. That he take away the serpent from us. And 
Moses prayed for the people. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses. And the Lord said to Moses. Make thee a fiery serpent. Make thee a fiery serpent. And set it upon a pole. And set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. Everyone that is bitten. That everyone that is bitten. When he look upon it. When he look upon it. Shall live. Gonna do what? Yeah. Huh? Pray God the serpent went down and met him and his to die. But pray God when they came to the man. Pray God, hallelujah. They said, been sick. They were sick, wasn't it? Huh? They needed a little help. Pray God, hallelujah. So he set that pole up with that snake wrapped around it. Pray God. And all that came and looked up on it. They was made whole. They began to live. They began to live. Oh, well, you know it. They got that same pole on the Amalek. Yeah. Uh, and with that pole on there and that serpent wrapped around there. I uh, pray God, hallelujah, to give you hope. Huh? But pray God, see, when you look at it, pray God that law will put in the land. Pray God to go forth. But that covenant that they had don't pass away. And we got a new covenant on the scene. Come on, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. But they looked on the serpent, huh? All right. Go over there. Ties here, 65, 25. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. But well, don't you know, under one covenant was natural. Under this covenant is spiritual. Amen. See, the Bible says God is the spirit, and they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Well, there was snakes that went there and bit those people. Huh? Well, what about the serpent on this end? He ain't a snake, huh? Uh, I'm talking about the devil. Huh? Pray God for the same devil was back there. They got in no paper. Which was that evil spirit that had them to war against God and against Moses. But what they were doing, see, he knew what they were doing. God sent Moses to lead them out so they can offer up that sacrifice before God. Huh? Pray God. Hallelujah. Isaiah 25. 65 and 25. All right, come on. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. Said the wolf and the lamb shall feed together. And the lamb shall he strike like a bull. And the lamb go do what? He strike like, like the bull. See, it can't be natural. Ah, uh, and you throw some straw out there to that lamb, and that lamb hungry, and you standing there, and I guarantee you, he ain't gonna move towards that straw. I guarantee you he coming towards you. Huh? So pray God. That's something pray God will put for us. That ain't real. Glory to God. Come on. And the dust shall be the surface meat. And he said dust shall be the serpent meat. See that dust is talking about seeing this serpent is talking about the devil. Huh? See and that's what the devil feeding off of sin. Uh, but sin will separate you from God and God will separate you from sin. Pray God. See if this is why. Pray God. Hallelujah. What's going on? He sent you here to separate you. Huh? Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. All right. Go to Isaiah 52 and 1. So dust gonna be the serpent meat. And the serpent is the devil. Praise God. See here God speaking to his people. His church. Praise God. Hallelujah. To let them know what they need to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. See the dust is ten. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pray God. All right. Isaiah 52 and 1. A 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Genesis 2 and 7. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Young man, I want you right here. I want you to lay down on this altar here. Huh? And we're going to read this scripture here. Genesis 2 and 7. I read it. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground. And the Lord God formed it man out of the dust of the ground. And breathed it into his nostrils. And breathed it into his nostrils. The breath of life. The breath of life. Man became a living soul. And what happened? Man became a living soul. Now, we know this a young boy. Here's the world say that God shaped this boy, man, in, out of this dust, raked it up, formed and gave him eyes and nose and everything. Huh? And then all of a sudden he ain't got no breath in it. Let me put some breath in. And he jumped up. Huh? Do that make sense? God is smarter than that. Huh? God ain't no God, no dumb God. Man try to put God on a certain level. Huh? Pray God, but here he had, pray God, his son to come forth from every womb, but he created that one out of the dust, he said. Huh? But he said over there, pray God that he that pray God, hallelujah, the dove was sin. Come on. Jesus Christ didn't have no sin. Huh? Say so he breathed in man's nostril. The breath of life. The breath of life. And man became a living soul. And his soul came alive. Not his body. His body was already there. Huh? His body was already there. His soul, on, that inward on, man, it had to come alive. Yeah. Huh? Well, how do it come alive? You got to get full of the Holy Ghost and fire going on. That's where the life comes in there. Jesus ain't here. You got to put Jesus on your soul. Huh? Your body don't bound to nothing, huh? If the body was here, pray God, hallelujah, why do they set it on fire? Why do they put it in the ground? Huh? That just the body, but the real you on the inside. See, pray God, hallelujah, glory to God, pray God. The real you on the inside. Huh? You inside of this body? See, it's your outward appearance. Huh? But pray God, but when they make this, make a connection. Stop connecting to that inward man. It might hit the floor or something. But you still live on. Huh? You don't just die right there and call it a quit. Huh? Your life still either with God or is with the devil. That's why I pray God when the Bible speaks about that rich man. Huh? When he was speaking about the rich man and the beggar. He said that both of them died. And were buried. But something came out of that body. Said, but in hell he lifted up his eyes. And said that the bed was comforted in Abraham's bosom. Huh? Well, pray God, but the body was in the ground. He if it's in the ground, it water and mud, huh? Huh? So he didn't say he was suffocating in water and mud. He said he was tormented in flames. So he wasn't talking about that. Praise God. He said he breathed it in man's nostril. The breath of life. The breath of the life. Man became a living soul. And man's soul came alive to God. Your soul come alive to God by his spirit. 
you got to get the spirit of God in there that calls you to live. I'm with you the Holy Ghost. Jesus breathed on them and said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Huh? That's the Holy Ghost to call you to live. See, the scripture said, pray God the life that I now live. I live through the faith of the Son of God. It is no more I that live it, but Christ that liveth in me. So if he living in there, and that's his life, you gonna walk and you gonna talk just like him. You gonna live just like Jesus. You gonna live like Jesus. Because it is his life. It is his life. You said the life that I now live. I live through the faith of the Son of God. It is no more I, I, I that live it, but Christ that live it in me. But you gonna walk like him. You gonna talk like him. You gonna live like him. Because it's him, it ain't you no more. See, you died, huh? You died, huh? He said, pray God. He, when you die with him, you go do what? You gonna live with it? Huh? So when you die, go to 1 Corinthians 15. My God. Hallelujah, sweet Jesus. My God. Praise God. Oh, glory. Fifteen, start by one. Let's go. Moreover, brethren. He said, moreover, brethren. I declare unto you the gospel which I have preached unto you. I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you. Also, ye have received. Which also you did what? Receive. Well, he was preaching Christ Jesus. He was preaching Jesus Christ living in the church. Huh? Not coming back, but alive in the church. Huh? He got to be alive. That's when you take on him, pray God. That's when he living in there. He's alive in the church. There's no more you that living, but Christ that living in you. Huh? Come on. When he said. Wherein ye stand. By which also ye are saved. By also you are saved. You keep in memory. If you keep what? In memory. In remembering. What I have preached unto you. Wait a minute now. Uh, if you looking at that little pattern right there, that ain't much, huh? He talking about the whole 31% of this book that he preached. That's right. Uh, if you keep that in remembering, it will make you a good steward of Jesus Christ. You won't be standing for the Lord all the way. Come on. Unless you have believed in vain. Unless you believe in vain. I delivered unto you first. For I delivered unto you first. Of all that which I also received. That which I also received. How did Christ die for our sins? How did Christ die for our sins? According to the scriptures. According to what? The scriptures. The scripture. And that he was buried. And that he was buried. And that he rose again the third day. And that he rose again the third day. According to the scriptures. According to the scripture. And that he have seen of Cephas. That he was seen of Cephas. And then of the twelve. And of the twelve. After that. After that. He was seen of about five hundred. And was seen of five hundred brethren at once. Whom the greater part remain until this present. Some are falling asleep. But some are what? Falling asleep. Are falling asleep. After that. After that. He was seen a chain. He was seen a chain. Then of all the apostles. Then of all the apostles. And last of all. And last of all. He was seen of me also. You mean pray God? He was seen of Paul. Right. Yeah, he had already went off the scene, but here Paul said, hey, I see oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, well, I tell you, you got to see oh, Jesus too, oh, praise oh, God. Oh, uh, because he's in a praise God. He's alive, praise God. He's not on a far away journey. He's right here, right now. All you got to do is get in contact with him. He's 
alive. Huh? He's alive. Last of all, he tells I see him. Hallelujah. As a one born out of due time. As one that was born out of what? New time. Huh? See, he would do to be born with the rest of them. Okay. But that old one that was had that thief that was in the way. He had to get out of the way. See, pray God, they went and chose one to take his place, but that wasn't the one, huh? See, pray God, Jesus chose his apostle, huh? huh? Pray God, he chose the apostle that he wanted to stand. When one of them got out of the way, they tried to get one together to put him in that place, but that wasn't the one. This one had to come out of one born out of due time. He was due to be born with the rest, but he was a little while later. He came on a little here. Huh? He had to suffer a little bit. He had to go through a little thing. Huh? But pray God, but when his time came, he was ready. Come on. I'm the least of the apostles. I'm the least of the apostles. And am not me to be called an apostle. am not me to be called an apostle. Because I persecuted the church of God. Because what he was doing, he thought he was doing right. Because of that other covenant. See, pray God by him being under that other covenant. He thought they were going against God. But all the time, pray God, he was going against him, huh? Uh, but he had a mind to perceive, pray God, the truth, go to God. Uh, going the wrong way, he had a mind to turn back, pray God. Hallelujah. When he was on the road to the master, and that shined a bright light from heaven, knocking him to the earth, and said, So, so, why persecuted I me? He said, Who is thy Lord? And the Lord said, I'm Jesus, whom you persecuted. You mean all the time he would persecute Jesus and did not know it? He would persecute the church and didn't know it. Huh? But what happened? The Lord told him what to do. Huh? So rise and go into the city. Would you call straight and go be told thee? Huh? There was a man right there in play. God working on both ends. Huh? God talking to him, he blind. Huh? He couldn't see. God go all the way over there and go to talking to Ananias. Come on, Jesus. Say, Ananias. Huh? I'm sending Paul your way. And I want you to baptize. And he arguing God in a dream. Lord, I heard many of this man. How much evil he done to thy saints at Jerusalem. And now, Lord, you can't get nobody else you want me. Yeah, you and I. Huh? I said, go your way. For he's a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name, huh? He was chosen, huh? Pray God to bear his name. He was chosen to bear his name. Come on. By the grace of God. But by the grace of God. I am what I am. I what? I am what I am. I am what I am. By God grace, huh? Uh, he stand, huh? By God grace, he stand. Pray God. I am what I am, huh? What I did, I did, and I can't change that, huh? But pray God, but by God grace, I am what I am. Pray God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Pray God. Thank you, Lord. But by the grace of God, 
abundantly. Then they all. Yet not I. But the grace of God which was with me. But the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they. Whether it was I or they. So we preach. So we preach. And so ye believe. So what? We believe. This our faith right here. Um, so we believe. Now if Christ be preached. Now if Christ be preached. That he rose from the dead. That he rose from the dead. I'll say some among you. I'll say some among you. That there is no resurrection of the dead. That there is no resurrection of the dead. There'll be no resurrection of the dead. But if there'll be no resurrection of the dead. Then is Christ not risen? Then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen? And if Christ be not risen? Then is our preaching vain? Then everything he put forth is vain. And your faith is also vain. And your faith is also vain. Yea? Yea? We are found false witness of God. And we are found false witness of God. Because we have testified of God. Where his name 
He said there ain't no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved Amen. other than the name of Jesus. Huh? The body which is in church. Jesus said upon this rock I'm going to build my church. He wasn't talking about the building. Uh, when they were talking about that building, to go show in that building, how long it took them to build it. It took them 46 years to build that temple. Huh? 46 years. Jesus said, see not all these things. There ain't going to be left one stone upon another that shall not be torn down. You mean God will go tear the whole thing down? If God was mad at them because pray God they wasn't loving his son. He showed the greatest love of it all, didn't he? He sent his only beloved son. Huh? He sent his son here. Because pray God, hallelujah, he knew that you needed him. See, over there, when all the people that was under Abe Jacob, they all went over there in Egypt. And while Joseph was second in command, everything went well with them. Huh? They were all fine. But as soon as there rose a king that didn't know Joseph, and they seen the growth of all those people, he got a little fear in his heart and said, we need to stop these people. Huh? But when he started putting heavy wrath upon them, the people went to crying out to God. Huh? That was their only hope to cry to God. Huh? So they went to crying out to God. And God raised up a little Moses and sent Moses over there to go over there and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Went right over there to tell them, let them people go. Huh? Well, pray God, they rose up. Rebel and kick. Uh, these are my people. I'm in this. This me. Soon as he rose up, God sent this leprosy. God sent frog. God told him to go over there and cast your rod down. Huh? And it turned into a snake, huh? They said, he said, that ain't nothing. Uh, my super magician could do the same thing. They threw their rod down and they duplicated some of the power of the man of God. But when God wasn't going to be our done, though, huh? God wasn't going to be our done. He turned God into life. He said, I can't touch that. That ain't that but the power of the hand of God, huh? He said, God ain't going to be our done. He's not going to be our done at no point. Praise God, hallelujah. He said, that ain't nothing but the finger of God. Huh? They couldn't do that, huh? Uh, but they duplicated the little snakes and rod turned into a snake. But he told them, pray God, to let those people go. Uh, to let them go, huh? So when they get ready to let them go, okay. Uh, no, I ain't going to let them go. Uh, he said, okay. Last of all, God sent him over there, go over there and tell him, I'm going to kill the first born of man and peace. Huh, because you rejected what I told him. Moses went over there and told him, Who is this God? I don't care about this God. I'm God. That's what he felt. Huh? But as soon as it got over there, praise God, hallelujah, glory to God, he started rebelling. So, that night, he told them to put the blood Hallelujah. on the doorpost of the house and don't come out that you got to stay in them house. If you come out, the blood going to be upon you. Huh? So that night at midnight, huh? pray God, death came through the land. All you can hear was moaning, screaming, and crying because of what God said. I oh. uh, pray God the people realize that. Right. That God, pray God, had sent that through. Yes, oh, that hurt him so bad. Come on now. He rose up. Call tell Moses, get your peoples and get on out of here. Huh? See, he could have left go at first. See, ain't nobody going to beat God. Uh, when God said something, you're going to have to bow down. Bow down to it, praise God. You got to bow down. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
was out. They got out of there. Praise God. Soon as they got out, God hardened his heart again. See, God just wanted to show his power to the people. Huh? See, the people don't lost fear of God. Huh? Pray God, God wanted to show his power. So he was heart, barrel, heart, softened. Sent all the frogs in the land. Sent the old leeches in the land. Sent all that other stuff there. Huh? Get this up. Pray to your God to get this out of here. All the time, but yet it's still. Still kicked and rebelled. Huh? But praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God know how to get you to the last test. Huh? When you get to the last one to see what you're going to do. Huh? Well, that's what the Lord did to him. He said, get those people and get out of here. Huh? Get out of here. They got out. Soon they got a little space out. Here the devil came right back in there. Huh? Heart is hard again. Go get my people and bring them back. But here God was watching over them now. They was in the hands of a great God in heaven. See, if this is what people fail to realize, you stay in his hand, huh? I uh, pray God he got direct them by clouds and by fire, didn't he? Huh? Pray God he this army was all around them, still couldn't find them, huh? Huh? Those people took that journey and pray God and they ran right to the Red Sea there. When they went to the Red Sea, they began to look, oh, what we gonna do? What we gonna do? Uh, what we going to do? God got you out of Egypt, didn't he? He wasn't a failure, was he? Huh? I uh, pray God, well, what you going to do? Well, I tell you, this is what we going to do. We going to stand and we going to see the salvation of God. We going to watch his salvation. We going to see what he's going to do. Huh? He going to do it. He's never been a failure. He's never been a failure. When they saw the sea separate and they went cross on dry land. Huh? They went cross on dry land. Well, it was the old people. Ooh, look at our God. So they went cross her. I child didn't even get the foot wet. But God was right there with them, huh? I'm talking about the great God of heaven. Uh, he's still the same God, y'all. I tell you, that's why you got to love him, son, Jesus. You got to love Jesus. You got to love Jesus. You got to love him. He sent that son. Uh, they went on call. Uh, so here Pharaoh and his army, they looking at it. Uh, he wanted to go call, huh? Huh? We ain't scared. Let's go get him. Huh? They were putting the trust in man, telling them what to do. Huh? But God, pray God, we're watching over his people. Huh? That's why you pray to us. That's why you keep talking to us. That's why you were worried about that, huh? He's watching over. He got his hands in the mix. His hand is there. They went right across on dry land. Soon as the army got in the midst of it and trying to come down, he closed the sea in on him. He closed the sea. You mean he closed the sea? When they seen that they was at liberty and were free, don't you know they danced and shouted for God is a good God? But here come the same devil. Still came just because they got right out there and didn't have no bread. Uh, here's a great God of heaven can open up a sea. Did you forget that? Uh, did you forget? Here man had an army trying to tell you that you can't go nowhere. But here he said, I'm going to let you free, huh? Here death came through the land, killed all the firstborn. Uh, pray God, but they still was at limits, didn't lose nobody, huh? Uh, pray God, hallelujah. But now here come a little piece of bread that 
that you want to put in your mouth and you forget about the great God of heaven. You can't forget God. Glory, hallelujah. They saw Paul and they complain. And God sent them to stay there and bid them pray God. Those snakes came there and bit them. When he bid them pray God, hallelujah, they had to turn right back to the man of God and say, oh, when you pray to God that he take that death off of because they were dying like flies, huh? Because they rebelled and spoke against God. You can't speak against God, not nothing bad. When people speak good, say how great he is. How great is God? Oh, you can speak the good things and tell them how great is God is. Yeah, we say he's a mighty, mighty, mighty.
Let's go.